Hey folks, it's Mangrel. We're back at the farm. It's finally open. And we're gonna try out this custom made race gate. I'll link you over here to how you can do that. And it's supposed to cost $7, but you know what? It cost me $50. So let's try that out. All right, and we're all set up. There's my chair, there's my table, there's my race gate. Hey, what more do you want, right? Not the most elaborate setup, but this will do. I have my batteries. I've got the battery charger as well. And the gate is pretty much just some PVC piping. Some is solid, some are rigid. And I use red, so it's nice and visible. And because this field is so wide open and it's a Mac field, so it's more for like uh, RC airplanes, RC helicopters. And because it's so wide open, this will give me an ability to do some you know, maneuvers, some like loops and those kind of things. And being a Mac field, it's very similar to your AMA field in the US and it's got different rules. So there's no need for a visual observer and those kinds of things. So my intent really is to use this for practice with the five inch. And I wanna try, you know, look backs and I wanna try loops and all these things. And the one good thing is because this has a lot of movement to it. So if I hit this, it shouldn't damage uh, the quad, but uh, we'll give it a try and see what happens. All right, here we go. One, two, three, go. Okay, that's a couple of just normal maneuvers here. Make sure that seems to work okay. I don't fly the five inch as much anymore. I do more of the uh, three inch. But the three inch doesn't require the visual observer here in Canada. It's under 250 grams. Whereas this guy, I need the observer. It attracts a lot of attention, makes a lot of noise. Interesting, this uh, gate is still pretty hard to see. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna take a lot of practice. Cause it's still pretty, pretty small. Over here, I can't even see it yet. There we go, now I see it. So line it up, go through. Yeah, that was terrible. But I think it'll be a good tool for practicing these kind of maneuvers. I usually end up hitting bigger things. Oh, <laughs> so like I said, I usually end up hitting uh, bigger things than, than this. But okay, well, let me see. Can I flip it around? Okay. Now, am I able to? Okay. All right. Nope, she's stuck. Nope, she's stuck. All right, I gotta go get her. I'll be right back. Okay, well, let's try again. <laughs> okay, I'm terrible. All right, again. Yeah, this is very forgiving. I like this. This is great practice. It's going to take me some time to, I think, line it up and, and be able to get in there after a maneuver. Right now, I got to line it up from back here. It's fairly small. Nope. But that's the kind of stuff I want to practice with this. This low to the ground, it's small. It's going to prepare me for being able to hit um, gaps. Because right now, I do hit bigger gaps, or I just end up going out in the middle of nowhere, you know, a tree, something like that. Line her up. Yeah, it's a very hot day, I'm already sweating. And this quad needs a tune still. This is fairly new. This is my um, 
FPV Cycle Glide. It's a fairly new frame to me for this season. I'm just uh, getting out there, starting to tune it. Can I line it up? Yeah. Nope, not good enough. All right. No, see, I need way more back. I give her more back to make that power loop. I gotta come back straight, back. Nope, see, still, need more back. Okay, back. Nope. Okay, we go in, back. Nope. That's a loop loop, that's not a power loop. Can we get it? No. Doing something wrong here. Okay, one more try. One more try. Oh! <laughs> and you know what, I shouldn't have this arm because that would have been perfectly fine. Just kind of glided through the air like a plane and landed. All right, so that's the kind of idea here. I'm going to keep practicing with this, and I've already crashed into it like four or five times, but I haven't uh, broken anything. The prop did not bend. The gate is still good. So to me, great success. So that last crash was a pretty good one, and it did knock the top of a race gate off, but that's by design. But I spoke too soon because we did end up bending one prop, but maybe that happened when it landed versus uh, when it hit the gate. But still, not bad for that kind of crash. All right, so we've gone through four packs now, and honestly, I think this is the best way to learn. No worry of my quad getting stuck in a tree or you know, hitting against the wall. I did break uh, a bunch of props over here. You know, this bag was full, now it's empty, but I feel like I did gain a lot of skills, and I'll leave you with some footage of the last pack.